Welcome to Nashville, Tennessee, Music City, USA, and home to the Commodores of Vanderbilt, who hope today they will hit all of the right notes. And boy, do we have a fun one ahead. Top 10 team, target on their back, going on their road and right into the snake pit. As we'll see the number two team in the country, the Georgia Bulldogs. Taking on a squad hoping to prevent another L this week, the Vanderbilt Commodores. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth. Got it. Here comes the offense on first down. Here we go. Use the play fake, now to throw. Quarterback adapting. He'll pull it down. Great move, now he's got room. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They'll throw it on first down. On the move to his left. A strike downfield. And he motors into the end zone. Touchdown, Georgia! This offense is so good. Man, they can hurt you in so many different ways, and they do it so quick, so explosive. They can put small drives together, big drives together. They've really had a great year, and that's why they're a top-10 offense. And Georgia ready to go back to work on offense. David, they'd love to do what they did last time and put this one in the end zone. You ain't lying. They did a great job. The offense was clicking. Everything went well. Palmer, they executed and got the touchdown. And they really were in a nice rhythm as well. And I'd love to see that here on the next drive, too. Just keep doing what you're doing. Everything seems to be working, and you seem to have this defense on their heels. Got him downfield. All kinds of running room. Pass to 30. 10. And the defense couldn't corral him, and he took it all the way. Touchdown, Bulldogs. Hey, coming into the game, you look at the stats, and you say top 10 offense in scoring, so they better be able to create what? Explosive plays. Another explosive plays. They've been doing it all year long. Those plays are backbreakers. Defenses just can't contain this offense. We're ready to get another look at this Bulldog offense. Jesse, a very productive drive last time wound up with a touchdown. Yeah, mixing and matching play calling really well. Nice balance on that last one, Dave. We'll see what they can do here in this next drive. Yeah, and I don't expect anything different. When you put together a drive like that, I would do more of the same. Keep the pace, keep it going. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. Dragged down to the turf, but not before getting the first down. As they get set to snap at time, winding down here in the quarter. He's looking to throw it. Got away from trouble and got rid of it. Pulls it in. It's Tuggle. They make the stop right there. Good pickup, but still short of the first down. Well, guys, it's Georgia holding the lead at the end of the quarter. They came out and jumped on them early in the first. Let's take a break and look at the first quarter stats. Now the challenge here, they've taken a punch, but they can't let it get out of hand as we start the second. A little bit more to go after that last completion. They'll try to pick it up on second down. Back to pass, it's Barber. Moving, keeping the eyes downfield. Got his man on the right. Still on his feet at the 45. They've got it to the 49-yard line, and they'll move the chains. The dogs have had a long history of scrappy and efficient quarterbacks. Add a little star power to it, and you've got something working. You definitely get a little extra something, something. We see it all across college football. You find that dude at the quarterback spot. It takes you from good to great, and you've seen that with Georgia over the last several seasons. They've got the defense reeling right now with that big play to the 29. The dogs have it with a first and 10. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Off 
play action on first down. He'll get rid of it. Finds a man by himself. They make the stop at the five-yard line, and they've got it first and goal. New center downs right on the doorstep for this offense. The snap sets up the throw. Caught behind the line. It's Robinson. Touchdown, dogs! That is the ultimate grab-and-go for the score. No midseason concentration laps here in Week 7 as they push out that lead. And listen, if I have a playmaker at running back like that with that kind of speed, yeah, I'm going to throw the swing to him, too. He drops back, surveys the field. He says, I know my guy can make a play, gets the ball in his hands right now on the swing. He does the rest, gets in for the touchdown. And Georgia ready to go back to work on offense. This has been exactly the way you draw things up, David. The offense has really been moving the football. And it's been great execution. Got some room headed to the goal line. I mean, you, you can say that's a quarterback or you can call him quarterback. I mean, goodness gracious, he, he's dropping back to throw the football. But when he sees a hole, his eyes get big and he just explodes through it. Everybody's trying to catch. Touchdown, Georgia! And they take it in for six more points. Well, this offense is top 10 in the country in points per game because they've got a lot of speed and they've got home run hitters. They score fast. They don't need 10 plays to go down the field. You saw it right there. They've recruited well. They've got playmakers. They are going to be a problem for defenses all year long. First down here for the offense. He wants to throw. Looking to the big tight end. Wide open downfield. And he was on his way. Gets it all the way to the 38. Man, if I'm a defense, I got to find a way to get some more pressure on the quarterback or disrupt their timing and their rhythm. I can't give them these big chunk plays through the air. I got to be maybe a little bit more aggressive or do something a little bit different. Across the 25, he's got room. Ripped off a huge chunk play on that one as he gets the first down before he steps out of bounds. This guy just gives you nightmares. I mean, he's just got so much electricity. He just pulls it down and chews up yards like it's nothing. That's a quarterback. A quarterback doing that to your defense. Going for six. He's got it in the end zone. Touchdown, Bulldogs. You know, oftentimes in college football, the best offenses are the ones that can create explosive plays just like you saw right there. They're top 10 in the nation in points per game because they don't have to drive the field. They've got dudes scattered all over this offense that can take it the distance on any given play. We're ready to get another look at this Bulldog offense. To the air, it's Barber. Steps to his left, out of the pocket. Trying to escape and get it himself. They wrestle him to the ground, but he's got plenty for a first down. This offense has been a juggernaut, and they have a chance to pad their total just before halftime. He'll come out throwing on first down. Can't find his man as he took a shot trying to deliver that football, and it'll be second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. Might be looking to run. Touchdown, dogs! And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. The offense did exactly what it's supposed to do with a start like that one. When you're set up with that field position, you're thinking touchdowns. You're not thinking field goals. It's exactly what the offense does. It takes advantage of great field position. And Georgia ready to go back to work on offense. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. 
And that pressure just engulfed him. A sack to this defense. After not getting a thing done on first down, it's second and long from the 24. Off the bootleg, wants to toss it. Now rolling to the left. And that's going to be incomplete, going for broke on second down, but third down's coming up. I'm not positive, but that first down marker might be in the next county. Going back to the well, another deep ball. Couldn't quite haul it in. They almost had their first pick here late in the game. How about the difference? They'll crank up this drive from the 30-yard line. Looking to go up top on first down. Buying some time as he moves left. He holds it in and nobody's close. Touchdown, Georgia! And the pummeling has started. Really nice job working the route and getting himself open. He was able to locate the football, snag it out of the air, and this guy now has five receiving touchdowns on the year. We're ready to get another look at this Bulldog offense. Boy, that last touchdown, the one-play quick strike score. Jesse, this offense hoping to keep that kind of explosiveness going. And I don't know if they're going to get the same looks defensively because of just how it's... Nothing but green ahead. And how about that? What the doctor always ordered, an explosive play to the 40. He can throw it. He can buy time. He can run it. What, what can't he do? This guy's so talented. When he does stuff like this, there's no way to stop it. There's no way to coach a defense up against this. He's just really fast, and I can't catch him. Using his feet to buy time. And they'll stop him just short of the first down, just inches away from moving the sticks. Inside a minute to go here in the third. They'll run it from the gun. At the 20, he's got space. Touchdown, Bulldogs! And the beatdown has ensued. Georgia. That trip to the end zone is 25th career touchdown. Man, he's been productive, just has a nose for the end zone. This dude's made big play after big play for his offenses, and that's 25 touchdowns, Palmer, on the ground for the big fella. Pretty impressive, too, when you consider when you get close to that end zone, the defense is expecting run, they're loading the box, and still this guy's been able to... And the offense suddenly with an opportunity it couldn't have expected with a first and goal after the pick. Used to play fake, now to throw. Moving out of the pocket. Looking to the end zone. Touchdown, dogs! And the stomping has commenced. That is exactly what most offenses will do. Big momentum play. My defense creates a turnover. I'm being aggressive. I'm going for the big score, the big play down the field. They get rewarded. They get the big passing touchdown. We're at the midway point of the season, and after the showing they delivered today, this team is firing on all cylinders through Week 7. We've been talking a lot about this team, but you want to be remembered in the month of November. The most important part in the meat of this schedule now is coming up. You play well throughout the second half of the year, we're talking college football playoff potential. Yeah, and, but you got to start somewhere, right? And I, and I like that they started strong, made it to Week 7 now. Yes, the, the rivalries are coming up and, and more important games are coming up. But you did what you needed to do to start the season. Now just keep that mindset and keep grinding. So that's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis saying so long. This has been another presentation of EA.